Hello, this is the Corona Cup game tournament where uh, Black started quite okay, but all of a sudden the bottom died and then it was really hard to come back. So it was just pure struggle from here till the end. So let's check it out. Usiki is very steady. Omoku, then approach. Here Black would go for a mini Chinese formation, but Shumari is also an option. This is actually one of the top AI choices. It's one of the moves I also like to play a lot in tournaments after playing the exchange in the corner. So it's really nice to play this C14. Well, of course, Black has all these options locally, like playing any kind of Shimari, the high one, the tight ones. Also, uh, slide and extend back the classic way it's possible. But mini Chinese, micro Chinese, so many options. And even jump here. So you can experiment in each particular game that starts like this. Uh, black can just try a different move. Anyway, absolutely fine to play C14. We like that move. Then white attacks the top right. Black uh, takes another corner. That's very good. It's good to keep steady, especially when playing a tournament game. So white extends. That's fine. Uh, now here black slides. This is actually a pretty big point. Uh, well, luckily it's also okay to play C4, which is the trendy move. In the top it's big to take the extension at h17 which prepares the invasion at m17 and in the lower right corner uh, black and approach r6 r3 or inside approach o3 all these moves are okay in this particular fuseki so here it's uh, pretty much a matter of uh, style or taste so it's fine to play the slide then extend back so here this time uh, black is playing ogema because the two space jump seems a little bit flat being on the third line Nice idea to step up to the fourth line. Now, as a whole board situation, uh, why should consider the G17 to space jump in order to expand the Moyo and also limit Black's development on the left side. But White played another tight move, which is uh, also fine. R6, it's also a very good uh, Fuseki point at this stage. Now Black comes in with a submarine uh, invasion. It's also okay to play a move like L3 because when White extends from the left, Black can slide P2 or Q2. Also, it's good enough to play two space jump and then stand. It feels a little bit cramped, but it's a normal follow up. Um, Black, of course, can think about M3 or attack H3, but moves like P2 or Q2 are also fine in this case. So here, white blocks the corner, black goes up, that's uh, excellent. And now, black should extend for a base. Now, usually, the when black has the space to extend, should be a three space jump from the two stones. Uh, if there is no space, then black will just extend two space jump, and usually on the third line, because it's easier to keep the base on the third line, going to the fourth line, then white will come all the way to K3 in order to take away uh, black space. Now, when playing a three space jump, white most of the time will attack, uh, I mean, will extend at J3 in order to prepare the invasion at N3, but here black can add another move at N4, or push along at p4 to prevent against the uh, to prevent the invasion but it's also okay to play away because this invasion is not such a big deal i mean white can cut capture and even connect under but in the end black is still safe uh, on the bottom side can go out here uh, turn it's an option keima or this kind of keima and also black and tenuki and continue in the top so even uh, after white invades, black doesn't suffer. In the actual game, black lost this group and the situation was worse even playing some moves in that area than not playing anything. But anyway, uh, black should consider L3. Now if white extends in the top at G17, black can extend along at H3. So that's good follow up on the bottom side. All the stones are on the third line mostly and this is safe, uh, it's more territorial. And this way, white needs another move in the corner at b3 to secure, then uh, black can play a big point. For example, on the right side, something like this, or attach in the top, or play, for example, a shoulder hit and attach again. This is a way for uh, black to set up a moy on the left side. So anyway, instead of m4, black should really consider l3. Now, let's move on. Uh, it's a bit more difficult for black to, to fix the base now and not really uh, help black in the meantime. 
So for example, if black plays a kick here, white will go up, then black space is still a little bit in danger. Uh, black needs another move like this to prevent uh, the invasion at uh, entry. But playing the kick gives white an ideal shape. These two stones up and the extension three across. That's why black is reluctant to play a move like uh, Detsuke. Another option is to play M3, but now M3 feels strange. It's like you play a two space jump and when white approaches, you add another move at M4 instead of going up or play something more flexible. So this will be heavy. Uh, if black plays L2, that's an option uh, to fix the base and this prevents the M2 slide. But again, when uh, white protects, black will feel like uh, adding another stone to keep the base safe. Then white will no B or double up. So again, white is going to build more on the bottom and black still feels under a lot of pressure. Therefore, uh, black decided to go on the outside with this cap, which is not a bad idea. But in order to create a sabaki, black should consider K4 attach. Now, when white plays the hane, black can go up or cross cut. The idea of a cross cut is to sacrifice one stone in order to get lots of forcing moves on the outside in order to fix a shape. So here, if white goes for the uh, two stones on the bottom, black will sacrifice happily and get all these outside forcing moves and uh, reinforce his uh, base. So this group is now fine. But in this case, white is going to Atari under and crawl. But then in this case, uh, black will just take the connection on the outside. So it's still better than the actual game. Well, later on, uh, black can cap uh, save the two stones or white can capture them, but it's not so important right now. Right now it's still Fuseki, so why should play a big point like this? So this is a way for black to, to fix the bottom, attach and cross cut. That's good to remember. Now black plays the cap, which is similar idea, more or less. And then white is still trying to, to attack this group in order to, to prevent the invasion on the bottom side. So if uh, white plays away, black can consider h3 or attach j3 and then put pressure on the bottom stone and this way uh, fix the uh, group in a pretty good fashion. So white play the attach, uh, black Hane, that's good, white pulls back, and black Nobi. This Nobi is powerful, but it leaves the cutting point behind, which is quite annoying, and therefore that's how uh, the problem started for black in this local area. So in this case, it's more interesting to play a move like this. Just a one space jump, because if white cuts now, if black has the ladder, he can just Atari and ladder into the top, which is fine, but black can also squeeze, so let's support there is no ladder and then protect with a double uh, Kema. This is a better formation for black. Forces white into a terrible dumpling shape. So black playing the Nobi, this is good for the left side, but leaves the cut. So in this case, you must think of moves that are lighter and protect against that cut. So this jump is an option or Kema will lead to the same kind of uh, squeeze play and then the nice double came out to protect on the outside. That's more important. So white cuts, uh, black extends, white goes up. Uh, that makes uh, sense to continue fighting. Kema, it's a good shape here. Uh, white jumps along. Now black jumps too. <clears throat> black can actually consider the Kosumitsuke, which is threatening to attach a G3 and uh, uh, destroy some of the bottom potential or territory. So here, white will usually uh, protect and then jump along. Because once when uh, black played g5, this formation of three stones is uh, much stronger and pretty much connected to the left side. So black doesn't have to worry anymore. But black jumps here and the left side is safe for now and it's growing uh, quite large, but the bottom is still vulnerable. Anyway, the group on the bottom, it's not so much. I mean, it's floating, but it can be fixed quite easily. So, for example, if black plays a move like L3, then he can fix eye shape uh, on the spot, which should happen soon. So attach, then Hane, go up, and then black uh, grabs another big point. Now in this position, it's still uh, more important to play a hanging connection like this. Well, a light Kema connection, the hanging connection would be this one or this one. Uh, or an, a Kema or Ogema this way. So when white cuts, just Atari 
play from behind, give up that stone, and put Sumitsuke or Keima to fix the bottom. It's okay to sacrifice one stone to get stronger. Also, it's much easier to uh, go to the right this way. So Black will uh, eventually build the right side while going out. It's also okay to play the Kosumitsuke right away at L3 and when White cuts, just let him have a stone and live on the bottom side. This is already alive. So Hane then grabbed the big point and even in, in this moment, Black is still fine. He's not going to die with the group. So the bomb first, this is okay. White is forced to uh, take a pretty heavy formation when he connects like this. But then the Atari, uh, it's a little bit wrong. Should play from the bottom, Atari, push again, even one more time, just to see whether white uh, plays an obi or a bomb, and then protect the bottom this way. So even if the group is surrounded, it's going to be alive. And for white, it's not such a big deal to get this wall because it's facing black stones on the right side. So the wall is not really functional. In fact, I would say it's quite meaningless. So the priority here for black is to play in the way to keep the bottom safe. I mean, leave Atari, push, then play another move to fix the base and prevent this kind of slide, which is going to take away the base. For playing Atari from the, the right side, uh, black is already thinking of sacrifice, but then he changes his mind and tries to save the stones. So if black wants to sacrifice, then he should be consistent with his idea and keep pushing. <clears throat> Maybe one exchange here, uh, then it works to play the Hane, in which case when white turns, black connects, and white has to catch the two stones to stay alive. And again, black can play a Kosumitsuke, or wait, here first, and then the Kosumitsuke. This gives black a more eye shape on the bottom side. So there's another way to escape by giving up the two stones. <clears throat> Playing this empty triangle cost black the game. So white went down, and now it's really difficult to escape. The shape is quite painful. This pip is okay. At least some uh, forcing move to get a little compensation. But overall, white didn't compensate, uh, sorry, black didn't compensate much from losing the large group. Here white should connect solid. Oops. Playing the hanging connection uh, leaves this move, which is threatening a snapback, so white still needs to play the solid move. Uh, with this one, <clears throat> it's not really gonna help for the eye shape on the bottom, so white will no be. It's probably more interesting for black to play L3. If black is trying O3 or something similar here, uh, white will slide, go up, and still there is no eye. Well, maximum one. So white can even play away now. The group is dead. But if white plays the Kosumi from this side, uh, sorry, black plays the Kosumi at L3, threatening for eye shape, uh, white will go down, then black can invade H3. White will go down again, black will go up, and white has to connect under and make sure he's going to keep the group safe, uh, I mean killed, and his bottom group safe. So black will surround here, then there's Atari and push and a lot of RG. So white will probably add another stone. This way, black is uh, going to die, but white had to play lots of stones inside. And then black can seek for compensation, attacking civil the group on the outside. And at least black managed to break the bottom uh, with all those four moves, three, five, and seven. <clears throat> so that's a way to, to use the dead group, but it doesn't have to happen now. So now black is trying an attempt to, to save the group, but in the end he just died, so it's time to play away. This is a large point and it should have happened a long time ago. But now it's, it's really difficult to continue the game when the, the mindset is already uh, pretty tough. After losing such a group, it's, it's really hard to get back in a, in a good winning mood. So uh, Black has to play a little desperate here. Well, white jumping like this leaves lots of cutting points and it's not so great. Um, it's possible to cut like that, but the vital point is Q13. This takes away liberty and leaves some cutting points. So when white protects, black jumps along. But black follow up in the top should be 
the invasion, descent, and connect. That's usually the continuation after age 17. So cut right away. Uh, white can extend actually and just allow the squeeze. So when white plays the solid connection, black can play P13, cover, Atari, Atari again, and then connect solid or hanging connection. So already there's a lot of damage in this area because black got all those center force moves. This move is brave, trying to catch the two stones in a net. It seems somewhat desperate, but so is black situation. Uh, yeah, white is going out like this. But in fact, white can play the nobi <coughs> and then jump. Now, when white plays this move, black can Atari, Pane, then nobi, and invade the top. So black jumps here, that's good to reduce some points on the right. And there's some magic in this area. Yeah, now black activates the problem here. White normally needs to play Atari like this, then black will Atari from behind, take a stone, and connect. And now the four stones are a little bit in trouble. Oh. Actually, wait. Atari, Atari. And when black connects, white can connect also. So black cannot connect. Black needs to play Atari from behind. And connect. Now when white captures here, black will take the four stones in a net. So white will probably... Yeah, white has to give up the four stones. Difficult to save them. Oh, in fact, this is possible. Yeah, go out with the empty triangle. Then when black pushes, Atari extend. And if black connects, white connects. Ah, so that works actually. Yeah, white has time to play Atari here. So white connected. Then black got a few points back in this particular fight. But not so big after all. Okay, so white comes in. Uh, let's see the RG here. This is all safe. Why should play this move? Because it's threatening a push and a cut, so black has to protect. And it helps against uh, a later cut at Q13. And then probe uh, black into the corner first. There's also this invasion point or playing high. Yeah, white has to play very uh, cautious because he's got a lot of profit already and he doesn't need to risk. But he did a little bit. Okay, now several pushes in Sente. On this jump, black and nobi, because it threatens push and cut, so white usually will protect like this, or solid. If white plays away, for example, peep, and then connect in the center to stay safe, black will push, and then cut like this. Now if white captures the stone, there's Atari, and catch the top stones. If um, white connects in the top, black will Atari, Atari, then connect under, but now white needs to make two eyes in the top with that group, and then black will jump in the middle. So already there's a lot of damage in the top. Therefore, this is a key point to play the nobi, threatening push and cuts. So white will just protect, and then black can go on a counter attack with this cut. Cut came out at the waist because the ladders are already uh, broken, so this will not work for white. Ah, black is trying to catch more stones in the middle, that's a good idea. And it almost succeeded. It's still important to play this nobi actually. And then use the wedge and cut. Ah, in fact something similar happened. But first came on, jump, yeah, then the wedge and then cut. Now that's a pretty big left side, promising. Uh, here nobi is fine. Then white connects, black needs to connect also, white will push, Ane, Atari, take, Atari, go out, connect and connect. <clears throat> Playing like this, white can play an Atari also. So white connect, uh, cuts right away. Now normally here, if black has this move uh, played early and white protects, black can push and then either cut two stones or cut four stones. And now keep everything connected. But now, 
because that Liberty uh, race is quite tricky. When black plays here, white will connect. When black cuts, white captures. So what black can do now is to play the honey in center. This will require another move to protect. Otherwise, it works to play the push and then catch four stones or catch two stones, just good enough to save them. Yeah, this was good. So white had to pay attention here. And instead of Hane, white had to no be except one Atari, then push. But black will push along. So <clears throat> this Atari is very good. When white connects, black captures. Nice combination to get those stones out. Mm, this was big. No more follow up in the center. And white is actually going to reduce a lot on the left side. So earlier, uh, black should block here to keep all the left side. And then play this Atari or sorry, attach first and then Atari to take back the stones. Because that maneuver on the right side was gote. So Atari catch, then Nobi, peep, that's fine. Uh, push and get back a few stones. That's all right. Well, in fact, here there's a co-fight, so black can actually uh, play a big point like this one. Then when white pulls back, fight the co. There's nothing to lose anyway. After losing the bottom side, the game was pretty much compromised. So yeah, now the situation is still desperate. So this monkey jump, it's an overplay. White should push, black blocks, and that's it. When white plays the monkey jump, black has a way to uh, block it in the way that it's going to take back some points. So black can play this move, then throw in, then Atari from behind, and Atari again. If white connects, black doesn't have to connect in the corner, but capture everything. So this will be a disaster for white. Therefore, white cannot continue uh, at f19, so white needs to play g18, then black can take two stones, white will take one back. But this will end up the monkey jumping gote for white. So for what is white is not interesting to play d19 here. Just push, block, peep, connect, and finish in uh, center. This way, uh, the way black blocked uh, ended up gote, and actually white could push in the corner like this. Now if black cuts, white will play Atari. If Atari from behind, uh, white can go again in the corner. If Atari capture, like this, black will be center, but. Uh, Oh wait, sorry, still not center. Black has to play here. Uh, so white is center and destroys more points, in fact. And if uh, Atari from behind take, Atari connect and black connects again. Oh, that's ugly. Sorry, black cannot connect. Black has to play here and give up another stone. So the way black is trying to block with D18, it's wrong. In general, the combination is to play uh, C19, if white attaches Atari from behind and just pull back or block and then on this move play the key point but there will be a co-fight. So this is a kind of situation where it's good to play E18 then sacrifice one stone. So even if white has a stone at J18 or K18 this is the right way for black to block the monkey jump and then let's suppose there is a stone at J18 so black cannot cut now connect here. So white pulled back Black blocked, white played back again, Atari connect and connect. And it's better to connect solid to leave no co threat. But yeah, white could have been punished here and black didn't punish. So yeah, this is fine. Turn, push once, Hane, uh, try to set up a combination here. That's okay. Mm. Still a difficult game for. Or black. Really hard to come back. So that's pretty much it. No way to recover. The, the loss on the bottom was just too much. Oh wait, what happened in that corner? Ah. In fact, uh, when black plays here, Black needs to protect. Then white protects and black goes down. If white plays here, this is not center because uh, let's say 
if white cuts atari go down atari connect on the hane black can go down and when white tries to approach black will take away the liberty so it's a shortage of liberties so it's a pity to see um, that the bottom wasn't played in a proper way <clears throat> okay instead of blocking here black should start a call there's nothing to lose in this call fight and actually why shouldn't jump for white is better to play osumi and push again the jump allows the call and black is in a desperate situation so black should start the call and that was it so once again the the fuseki was quite okay up to the point where this black group died pay attention in these local fights next time and also remember that monkey jump block it can save you uh, lots of points in the end game in the next games enjoy the review and win the next round